All right, tips for CEH exam. So uh, when I took the C CEH, uh, let's see, it would have been in 2000, it was 2015. Um, I, so what I ended up doing was I got a subscription to uh, CBT Nuggets and I watched their videos. And then um, <clears throat> I also got like an all-in-one study guide. Um, Honestly, with a CEH, it's a lot of memorization, if, especially right now, because now they've gone to where there's a multiple choice portion, and then there's like the, the practical portion. Uh, I forget what they call that half of it. Um, and then if you get both, then you become like a CEH master or whatever. Um, but for the multiple choice part of it, at least when I took it, it was very much a memorization kind of exam. It's probably going to be pretty similar now because just multiple choice exams in general are kind of like that. Um, if you can, uh, you know, if you can really understand the concepts and when you would use certain tools and things like that, that's that's going to be the most important thing. Um, honestly, too, I mean, like anything, the more you can deal with it or the more you can be exposed to the information, the better. So if you really want to learn about hacking, too, in addition to um, in addition to that, I would also, you know, go on try hack me, go on hack the box. Um, with CEH, they do offer the official courseware. I think it's a little bit more expensive, um, but I mean, they're going to give you the stuff that you need to know. So it kind of, you know, just depends on if you want to go that route or if you want to get the, um, you know, just like an all-in-one study guide and a video course.